If I asked you what Minecraft update you want, what would you say? For millions of players, they would plead for an end update. This is the biggest myth in Minecraft. Here's why. The end is easily the worst dimension in the game, with multiple major, possibly game-ruining flaws. The first of which is a lack of depth in the end, a dimension you can spend just a few hours in and fully complete. When you enter the end from the stronghold, you're faced with a relatively easy boss to fight against, the Ender Dragon, which players are now able to beat within 10 minutes of loading up the world. Then, with a single Ender Pearl, you can teleport over a thousand blocks away. If you're lucky enough, you'll be met with an end city in sight, able to get shulker boxes and a lytra within minutes. The only items which are both useful and exclusive to the end. If you're unlucky, it may take a couple hours, but it's still easy, just slowly bridging over the void, going from island to island until you eventually find these items. And then what? You just stand there, in the middle of the endless empty world, alone, bored, and isolated, just staring into the void until you leave, only coming back for those same two items for the rest of the game, staying in the overworld never. But with all of this, almost nothing in the end is fun. From the eyes of Ender, which are slow paced, frustrating, and simply boring, to something as small as silverfish, which are just annoying to players, to the stronghold layout, which is just confusing and like a maze to the player, leaving them dissatisfied. All of these problems, plus many more, have accumulated into causing the player to want an end update. With the community looking towards 1.16 for inspiration, believing it to be the perfect solution. But, I don't think it is. However, after the end update was introduced, the player base wanted two major updates. Changes to caves, which we got in 1.17 and 18, and then an improved end. Seeing the four unique biomes, the new structures, and many more additions as the perfect update, waiting for this to be replicated with the end. Yet, I still don't believe Mojang should make a large, all-encompassing update, attempting to solve every problem relating to the end, like 1.16, with the biggest myth in Minecraft being that an end update could fix it. And, at the end of this video, I'm going to fully explain the update Minecraft actually needs. The first reason is that they've already tried an end update. From the official release of Minecraft to 1.8, the end was just a dragon fight. But, in 1.9, they wanted to change the dimension, adding the outer end islands. And, end cities. This became the most controversial update in the game's history. Primarily because of the combat changes. But, the additions to the end weren't protected from this controversy either, with the elytra in particular being hated by many at first and still to this day. However, this update didn't solve the fundamental issues of the end, which is, there isn't a reason to consistently go to it. With the overworld having dozens of biomes, mobs and structures, as well as hundreds of blocks being the centre of the Minecraft universe, the never provides countless resources, access to the wither, multiple structures and mobs which allow for features like potion brewing, a new type of trading and the best ore in Minecraft. With the only major reason a player would want to return to this dimension whilst they have an elytra and shulker boxes I can think of is to create an enderman farm. But the primary reason I don't believe a 1.16 style update would work for the end is because of the current state of Minecraft. With Mojang facing more controversy than ever before an overall state of the game being negative. With large updates trying to solve every problem being even more controversial than the current smaller unlinked together updates Minecraft is currently attempting. So how should an end update actually be attempted? I believe it should be made over the course of several updates, implementing useful items which help improve the game in a meaningful way. They can add verticality to the end, making islands generate on the Y axis making the dimension more interesting, maybe adding an end mob alongside this, aside from just the enderman, shulker, endermites and the ender dragon, with this update also adding features outside the final dimension. But overall, this series of updates can introduce everything the never update did, whilst adding content to other parts of the world, as well as meaning everything added to the update is actually useful. But if you want to find out what update Minecraft needs immediately, 
watch the video on screen now.